Ah, Costa Rica. Never thought I'd play Costa Rica in Hearts of Iron 4. My god, the content we will make. A to Z really brings you places you never go willingly. After a whole life of searching, I may finally have found where I belong. Too bad it's a dump. Well, what can we do with our box standard focus tree? Very limited population and mighty industry. Oh dear. Well, there's only one thing we can do. We will reconstitute the Federal Republic of Central America. We're going conquering boys. And that means we have two options. We can either go with the Partida Vanguardia Popular or the fascists. I think for Latin America, the best choice is going to be communism. I am 100% certain that the United States of America will welcome a southern neighbor that believes in the workers rights. Yeah, that I am I am 100% certain that is going to be perfect. So political effort it is research basic machine tools and engineering, I guess trade might as well trade with the USA because well, with one factory, we're not building anything anyway. When we get more factories, we'll build a mill. The decisions, none of these matter. Recruitment, not much point to recruiting anything. Production, well, guns, I guess. And uh, it's off to the races. So to reconstitute the Federal Republic, we'll need anything north of us. So Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala. I don't need Panama, but might gobble it up anyway if we get the chance. And, you know, if we see an opening, why not take out Mexico? Yeah. Yes, we can be the true Central American power. That's political efforts, and we will hire the communist revolutionary. Onwards to industrial efforts. Now, there is one slight problem with this. We can never have a civil war, so we have to wait for political discourse, so the referendum. Reason being, we only control one state, and if you only control one state, you can't have a civil war. Thanks for patching the fun out of this game paradox. Industrial efforts going. I'm going to Bank a couple of days here so we can do a little bit of a tech shuffle. Now, I think we'll be able as this takes 44 days and this one is going to take another 42 days. So I might need the tech shuffle here. Tech shuffle. So we'll switch this out for, let's say, artillery. We need it anyway. And we'll pick up basic machine tools here. It only takes a day now. Hurrah, we have basic machine tools and now the industrial effort bonus is going to be applied either here or do I want concentrated? Maybe concentrated for a country this small would be the best choice. And then we'll turn off toad artillery on to improve machine tools. Yes, I know it's ahead of time, but that will allow me to use the upcoming 100% bonus on advanced machine tools. Should I so choose? I guess we're grabbing armament effort next and then on to all those sieves. We'll need guns and we'll definitely need artillery. So I need to switch one of these over to artillery at some point. Next up, silent workhorse and then the popular figurehead. I'm gonna hire chief of the army, the army offense expert so we can get some army XP early and then we'll grab the popular figurehead for more stability. You always want as much stability as you can get. Yeah, we also got improved machine tools now. I'm not gonna take the next step. I could, it's it's reasonable, but I'm not gonna do it yet. I have other needs like mountaineers. Much of this northern area is mountains and mountaineers are just gonna be so much more helpful. And now we'll take construction effort all the way down to the extra research slot. Pretty much for the entirety of this run, we'll, we'll have manpower issues, so I need to focus on troop quality. Let's start making some of that artillery. I have plenty of guns. Not those events. I need that recruitable bob. We'll train some mountaineers, but not these mountaineers. Let's bring them up to a proper size first. So this in terms of mountaineers, and then we'll add a little bit of artillery to the mix. 25 width. This should be fine for mountaineers, and we'll name them after channel members because the members will carry the day as they always do. So if you want to see yourself featured in the glorious armies of bitter steel, sign up for membership and you can help me conquer the world or at least, you know, Central America. Yay, events. Okay, okay, okay. So we're almost there. I'll just save up until 100 political power. And he's instantly sick. We'll save up and then we'll be able to switch to communism and start justifying rather late than ever. The extra research slot is in. Let's grab army effort. Wow, now I'm getting events when I don't need them and I don't want to lose the stability. Thanks, game. And we're communists. Yay, there goes all our stability. At least this guy has a good beard. Okay, we'll switch over to ideological loyalty and start printing men. Manpower printer go brrr. 
we're gonna need it. And now we wait until we can justify. So I'll leave one division to guard, what is this, is this Santiago? Ah, San Jose. And then two divisions to try and hit Managua when we justify 225 days. Again, a lot of people ask me, how are you conquering America? How are you conquering South America without the US getting involved? I'll, I'll lay it out for you guys one more time. Every single country in America is guaranteed by the USA. So are we a country, in this case, the USA is guaranteeing two nations, Nicaragua and Costa Rica, and those two nations go to war with each other, the USA does not get involved. So if a country is guaranteeing two other countries and those two countries fight each other, the USA, uh, the, the guarantee does nothing. All right, as for army XP, I'm going to invest in doctrines, but I'm not going to grab superior firepower just yet. Uh, yes, this is good, but I want special forces first. I want to grab, I think, up to battlefield intelligence because I want to boost our mountaineers. We mostly have mountaineers, so it's going to be an initial quick boost of those forces. First war goal done. We'll declare war Nicaragua. Immediately justify on our next target, Honduras. These two divisions attack there. You attack there. Slow the game down a little and we should win this. Yeah, I'm going to force them off their capital and it's their only victory point. So I'm pretty sure that's just going to be like an instant win. <laughs> Free guns. And we'll just annex anything and everything. Brilliant. All right. Next step of these guys who also have one victory point. It's on a mountain, but that doesn't matter. We have nothing but mountaineers. Anyway, more infantry is being trained. Now we are occupying some land. So I'm going to create a new template and just add a single cavalry to it. There we'll go to occupy territories, assign the cavalry template there. And instead of military governor, we're going to pick liberated workers because that is what we're doing here. We are liberating the workers of the world. And we're going to bring up additional basic infantry, once again named after the members. I'm going to bring that up to 15 combat width. It's not optimal. Well, it is optimal in terms of combat width. It's very decent. It's good. It's a nice frontline unit. Doesn't pack as much of a punch as our mountaineers do, but I need something to fill a frontline, right? I need to focus on getting stability and war support up. So I'm going to do anti-democratic raids, improving worker conditions. Probably going to get some, oh, well, whatever gets me war support really, because this is not great. That is our next target. We'll simply declare war, bada bing, bada boom, and we'll justify in Guatemala. The reason I'm not going to take out uh, El Salvador first is because like, El Salvador builds a ridiculous amount of units. I'd like to be able to like fully surround them to go in guns blazing. Speaking of guns blazing, let's just take the capital here with our mountaineers. And there we go. Honduras with a free donation of guns. Confirm and exit. Bada bing, bada boom. Another victory for for the glorious Costa Rica, or should I say Costa del Pueblo. Not a video goes by without me making massive, massive mistakes, and this one is no different. So we easily took out Guatemala from this airfield here, punch into the mountain tile, the, the plain style. It looks like a mountain on the map, but it's a plain style, and then south into the capital. Bada bing, bada boom, Guatemala falls over without much resistance. Then we surrounded El Salvador, pumped out a couple more divisions, and went to town, took San Salvador easily. El Salvador capitulated. Big the problem, though, is that El Salvador, being fascist, and world tension being at 100%, decided to join the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere. So we're now at war with Japan. Now, Japan hasn't sent anything over, which is good, but it means we are at war. In an offensive war, we're taking a 20% hit to our war support, which sucks, which in turn then hurts our stability, which sucks. Overall, a lot of things suck right now. We're trying to mitigate them. We are justifying on Mexico because nobody is going to guarantee Mexico. We've not generated enough world tension for that. And Mexico is not likely to join the allies. They would join the allies if we were at war with the allies, but we're not. We're at war with Japan. And that means Mexico is very likely to join Japan. Not optimal, but I can handle that. What I'm expecting to do or hoping to do is use my mountaineers, I've trained an extra one, to punch through to Villa Hermosa or the tile next to that to cut off the Yucatan Peninsula, mop that up, and then start an offense drive north into Mexico. Japanese troops will arrive, hopefully not that many of them, and we just need to keep the war going for long enough to either A, win, because like Mexico has no industry, it's it's hopeless, or B, for Japan to go to war with the Allies, in which case, Japan will call the Mexicans in, and Uncle Sam is going to come rolling south into the United Mexican States, and we'll split the difference. Justification's finished, we'll declare that war. Nobody should join it, they will probably join Mexico. And we're going to go in guns blazing. Oops, I forgot to properly 
line up my troops. Right, the Mountaineers are excellent. And yeah, they've joined Japan. And from there, we'll try to punch north. One problem now. Our trade is via sea with the USA. So I hope the Japanese don't send too many ships over there to sink everything. I really hope I can break through now. We've got the firepower for it, but it's just a really bad tile to break. I don't like marshes at all. Let's just halt, 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 halt before they retake. No, I don't think I'm going to take that swamp. We're going to try and force my way through here. I may have underestimated Mexico's ability to withstand me, but their yellow bars are already dipping. So either they're running low on manpower, which I doubt, or they're running low on equipment, which is very, very likely considering their industry is quite awful. Looks like we might break through, but they've got a tank there that hasn't actually engaged. So maybe not. Big old wait and see. No, 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 it's not happening. It's not happening. We'll just go into the mountains then. Yep. We've made our breach. I'll let the... Do I want Mountaineers to finish up that? Difficult choice, difficult choice. Mountaineers have more attack potential, so I'll use the Mountaineers, uh, send them south, press the advantage now. Is that a naval invasion? Am I be... No way! I'm being naval invaded. I... What? What? I never expected Japan to pull. Oh, no, 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 no. I am 100% dead. If they get to San Jose, I cannot stop them. Hopefully we can we can roll this back. Uh, the Mountaineers should be able to do serious damage. You go there, start mopping up Yucatan. Just attack, 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 attack. And then we can repel them. We can still do this. We can still do this. If I can force them back and take my victory points, maybe we can still hold out. Keep moving forward. Oh. Oh my god, my equipment's all gone. Help? I think I've just lost San Jose, so am I dead? Oh, I'm so close. Not quite dead though, not quite. So I had higher hopes for this campaign, but we're not dead yet. I thought we were, but we're not. We're still in the running. And every day we draw closer to the Japanese declaring war on the Americans, and that will be their death sentence. Okay, so I'm gonna walk back to San Jose. We'll take our own stuff back. I am out of manpower though, and I don't have the worst. Oh, I can. I can go to service bar requirement. Ooh, because I have a certain level of surrender progress. So I should just bottle them up in San Jose. Is that a naval invasion? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Half you boys go there. And that means I need to clean this up. I was so close. So close to potentially surviving this. No, 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 no. These guys are all cut off. They're all cut off. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Get, get, go. Oh, oh my God. How are they getting this many divisions? in here. And of course, the army decides to not rush north. No, no. At a leisurely walk, they are heading north. Well, I'm dead. I'm dead. I, I cannot break these Japanese divisions in time. My divisions are too weakened. I don't have the org. The Mexicans are pulling division after divisions straight out of their ass. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, you go there. Pin, 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 pin. Linked up. It was stupid and expensive, but we linked up. Okay, so the army's not gonna die. All right, so these guys are all going to die. No! No! And I've lost my army. I had them! I had them! Literally nothing I can do. Nothing. <laughs> I've lost half my army. Oh, Japan went to war with the Philippines. Hurrah! Which means we might actually s survive this yet. Hey, USA, there we go. Military access, military access. Hey, please declare war on Mexico. Please, Mexico, join this fucking war. Mexicans are able to just keep going, throw men in men and equipment away. They had nothing. They, they were out of equipment. The yellow bars were so low, I could probably have just swept them away. But no, Japan had to naval invade. Mexico is just not joining the war. They are, what are they? Annoying? Yay! Mexico's joined the war. That means the USA is going to start rolling south. Yep. Okay, the USA is going to come in from the south. I'll just join the allies. See what I... <laughs> oh, of course the UK is now going to take everything. God, I was so angry. I'm still angry. I'm still very, very angry. The USA is also in, so let's just grab what we can and move, move, move. Well, at least it looks like we are definitely mopping up. Got a nice chunk of land out of this. If we can take something sweet into peace deal, all the better. More factories, which I'm definitely going to need if I'm to rebuild my forces, and soon I'll be able to trade with the USA. Let's get another research slot. I guess we are now condemned to working with the allies. Not much else. Ooh, yeah, I got a nice reward out of that. Yeah, we're just condemned to working with the allies, I guess. 
Well, I'll let the army recover a little bit. I'll, I'll start planning here. I'm thinking go the long way around. So sail through here towards the uh, African Cape. Then I'll hop over to Ethiopia. Railway north to Cairo. And then set myself up on Tripoli and try to naval invade through Tripoli and take Sicily. I don't want to go through the Mediterranean too much via my convoys because that is going to result in most of them getting sunk. All right, we'll back up the 17 divisions. I would like more, but I don't have the equipment right now. So I would like to get another seven out. I'll train them, but deploying is going to have to wait. The ones I have, I'll start ferrying over to South Africa. And from there, we head on seven more divisions. Let's send them on their way. A lot of people ask me, Bittersteel, how do you make these small naval invasions and why? Well, the reason why is that naval invasions preparation time scales with the amount of divisions assigned. So one division assigned to a naval invasion means it takes seven days. Ten divisions assigned to a naval invasion means it takes 70 days. So it's much better and faster to assign 10 separate naval invasions of one division than it is to make one naval invasion of 10 divisions. It's simply significantly faster. How do I do this? Uh, it's simple. You take your army leader, press naval invasion order, choose the port where you want to start and choose your destination. When you've done all that, you'll have 10 divisions assigned to an initial order. Then what you're going to do is assign, uh, select the entire army and press this button, unassigned divisions. That will allow me to demonstrate. Unassign the divisions from all of these orders and now they're empty. Do that until you've got your five or 10 orders drawn and then individually start selecting units. In this case, I'm going to use two per naval invasion and send them out. Simply select the divisions, hold control while clicking the order and the divisions will be assigned. You can also just simply click and activate the orders when they're done or you can hold shift, click and then you can see like a double arrow appearing over the order. Hold shift still and simply mouse over and click on separate orders. That way you can activate orders individually. It, it works the same with stopping. You can also stop orders individually. That that way. Just a couple of little tricks. Now I just need to wait for the allied fleet to move into position so we can get 50% naval supremacy everywhere because they've decided to leave the Tyrrhenian Sea for some reason. We'll just hit the bottom tiles here. We won't be able to hit the tile next to Palermo or the port of Catania because apparently the enemy fleet is still out in the Tyrrhenian Sea. It's okay though. We have a port. Mountaineers have also landed after getting raided, of course. We're doing it. All right. And I think we have control of the area. Yeah, let's just delete all these orders. You take Messina, you guys take Palermo, then we'll have control. Hopefully we can even push across Reggio Calabria, but I doubt it. Usually they have divisions there and we'll already start planning our next move. So from Palermo, I usually hit Anzio and the surrounding region. Yes. Okay, we're across actually. Well, in that case, I still want to do the naval invasion, but I'm going to halt it for a little bit. I'm going to use the mountaineers to push up north towards Naples from the uh, tip here and we'll funnel these guys guys across towards Palermo. I will assign them for the new naval invasion. So two divisions per tile. We're going to land these units to their north as soon as they are capable. And it will, one, be a nice distraction and two, an opportunity to create a big old pocket. Yes. Okay. Go, 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 go. We're going to go north now. So far, so good. I think we're going to succeed. Yes. 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 Okay. We've cut them in half. I just got to link up. Just got to link up. These eight guys can hop across as well. I think this is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, these guys are all going to get trapped. Uh, we've taken Napoli. These guys are all trapped. We're making a little bit of a push north as well. That's a good amount of kills for little Costa Rica. And they're gone. Might be able to capitulate the Italians before they get the uh, Civil War event, which would be funny. How's our equipment looking? Uh, taking some losses, but overall, the gains definitely definitely worth it. In terms of contribution, 7%. Ooh, I've lost some points from Lendlease. Ah, naval invasions, bane of my existence. Let's just rush south, crush it, go back north. Should be able to take care of this reasonably quickly. It's just Italians. I mean, <laughs> what are Italians gonna do to me? Not much. They're gonna die. That's uh, pretty much the extent of their involvement here. Pound for pound, our troops are significantly better than whatever the Italians or Germans can muster, but they've got so many of it. Okay, so that means our puppet's been created and we have friends again. Hurrah. Okay. Looks like my allies are breaking out. Time to do the same. I've managed to get a couple more special forces by... How do I do it? By selecting this so my mountaineers just take up less of a cap. We're up to six mountaineer divisions. Let's concentrate them on Genoa and then try to push on from there. Germans really putting up 
quite the fight here. Managed to concentrate some firepower. We'll now take Genoa. Hopefully push on from there. As long as I can concentrate the mountaineers, I tend to be able to do great things in the service of the people. Let's see if I can keep doing great things. Ooh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. We have movement. We have movement. And we've made contact. Yes. Okay, so we've linked up with the main allied landing. Operation Dragoon, I think it was, in southern France. Maybe we should now eliminate what's left of Italy. Provided we can, because holy crap, they've really stacked this area. It might be safer if I just pull my units out, leave the allies to guard the line, and just go to town in France, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Priority should be to cut off as much of the uh, German forces to the south here. Might make it, might not, might make it. Yep, yeah, okay, so we've cut off essentially the entire German south. We'll crush that and then move to the north. As expected, the, they've just busted that back open. Supply here is just god awful. All right, this isn't feasible. I'm redeploying again. We'll try and force our way through here towards Annecy, towards the Swiss border. See if we can just cut the Italian and Vichy French fronts away from each other. Maybe we'll, that'll give us a bit of an edge. All this attacking is super, super expensive and it's costing me a ton of equipment. If I can go here, I could probably do a good amount of damage. By the time I get there though, it's entirely likely that the AI will have shifted troops into position. At, yeah, I won't be able to get anything done. Great. So my armies have showed up and half a dozen Axis divisions have also showed up, so now there is no more gap. This is still the thinnest part of the line here, I think. Right, all right, all right. Okay, 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 okay. Moving, moving north, moving north. Let's head to Cherbourg. Let's cleave through. All right, this is good. This is good. We'll have to see how far we can get before they're able to really position troops that sufficient numbers to stop us, really. So far, though, I don't think they'll have enough time to do anything, because we are going for it. Okay, okay. Now, this is beautiful. Just head for the border. Head for the border. All right, one more tile, one more tile. Come on, you attack there. Come on, one more tile. Are we gonna make it? Yes! <laughs> oh no, they're still connected here. Ah, uh, it was, it was funny. It, it was funny while it lasted. Yeah, it does feel like we've managed to overextend the Germans at last. So there's virtually nothing up north. They will get troops in there, but will they get troops in there on time for it to actually matter? Because they are still vastly overcommitted in the Soviet Union, Turkey, the Balkans, pretty much everywhere. And that funny maneuver we did with the Vichy front, while ultimately not the grand breakthrough we hoped for, is gonna give them a bit of a headache because they're gonna have to figure out a way to stop us now. And they don't really have enough troops. I know I'm battle planning at this point, mostly because this is just an all infantry army and there's very little opposition now and I, I can battle plan. It's never the best choice. Trust me on that. It's never the best idea to just battle plan, but I'm gonna try. We are running out of manpower at an alarming rate. Let's just drive on Berlin and then halt for a little bit because this is just is costing me an absurd amount of troops. I'm already on all adult serve. I can't even go up to scraping the barrel, so we'll have to halt. Costa Rican troops of Storm Berlin. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna halt here for a little bit and and recover. I have wasted, or rather spent, a great deal of manpower on this. And I'll take the rest of Germany cleanly, step by step, small attacks, nothing too serious because I am very much out of manpower. Ah, uh, much better, much better. They'll all die. This is uh, over. With the Soviets this close, everything's collapsing. We'll kill Vichy France at the expense of many. Oh my God, almost a million men. How many am I short? Ooh, I'm like 40,000 men short. Let's, uh, let's not. Ah, beautiful. We've still killed a lot of Germans. Little Costa Rica has done well. And they're all on the Maginot. I don't want to fight them. I don't want to attack the Maginot with infantry without air power. We got air power, just not a lot of it. Germany's dead anyway. There we go. It's just Italy and Bulgaria now. And I think my, my strength is much better suited to quickly trying to take out Italy. But yeah, this is over. Bulgaria is about to get crushed. It's over. We've won the war. China and the Soviets together have taken 21 million casualties. Impressive. Yeah, impressive. All right, let's get through there and then into Sofia. And it's over. I'm not able to take anything here because Japan's still in the fight, but can beef up my puppet, I guess. Well, Europe certainly looks uh, fairly historical, except for maybe Yugoslavia. Peter II got to keep most of it. Wow, I'm 
shocked that Albania... Oh, this is going to be controversial. So, uh, yeah, the Kosovo issue again. Yeah, most of this has been split very nicely. What we got, however, is important. We have now a massive navy that I'm just going to group up. I'm going to send it home and we are going to invade Japan. Oh, it looks like the uh, Soviets have gotten involved with Japan as well. So this is this is over, Japan. This is over. Don't worry. The Costa Rican army is still on its way. We will we will kick the door down. This is our right. Navy's in position. I don't need you repairing right now. You can split off should you need to. We have naval superiority. Of course, split off all the submarines because that sucks. Don't put them in with your main navy. And uh, we can start the naval invasion. We're off to the races. This should be fun. And and Japan's dead. <laughs> yeah, Japan is essentially dead now. I wonder if Japan still has... Oh, it still has an army. Where? Like, there's some troops stuck here. There's probably a bunch... No, oh, not that many. There's some troops stuck there. So where is the Japanese army? Is it all just scattered across all these islands? Oh, yeah, I think this is where... Uh, not even that many. So, yep, yeah, the Japanese army is missing in action. I don't care. And uh, we're just going to take what we can, like El Salvador as our core, and then as much of Mexico as we humanly can. So, we are now the Central American Socialist State. These are very pretty borders, and for some reason, Mexico was allowed to survive in Tijuana, in Baja California. Okay, I'm not even going to question it. We got a couple more ships out of this, so uh, some very nice 1940s aircraft carriers. It's better than no aircraft aircraft carriers, I suppose. We've got a fine fleet. We've got a functional economy. You know, we're, we're decent. And we have ourselves a little Italian puppet, Costa Rican Italy. At this point, what I would probably do is just leave the allies and then ask to join the common turn. And the world is now set for the Cold War Part 2. But this time, it's not just Cuba. It's the entirety of Central America that it, the USA has to meddle in, which they probably will. So, uh, yeah, we've set the world up for a perfect Cold War. We had ourselves was a lot of fun. I did spend most of the adult population of this nation in pursuit of greatness, but I think it was worth it. You know, I think it was worth it. All we have to do now is um, develop nuclear weapons and we'll be safe. No way in hell that the USA would ever mess with one of their southern neighbors. No. Anyway, that was my take on playing as Costa Rica. The first time I've ever played this country. It was fun as a communist, though I think fascism is a little easier. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys will enjoy this next one as well. See ya.